let's discuss a question is subsequence so the problem statement is given a string s and a string t check if s is subsequence of t and what is subsequence let's first understand them through an example then we will see its definition so suppose given a string a b c d e and we have to check is a b d is a subsequence of this string so if you see a then this b and then this d so a b d is a subsequence of this uh, string so in subsequence it is not necessary that uh, it is continuous but the relative order should be maintained so in this case the relative order is maintained so it's a subsequence of this string but what about a c b so when you see a then c and for b we have to go in backward direction it means the relative order is not maintained so a c b is not a subsequence of this string if it is a b e then it's a subsequence so a b e it may or may not be continuous but the relative order is maintained now let's see its definition a subsequence is a sequence that can be derived from another sequence by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements so this is the definition of subsequence and let's see some examples to understand this problem statement so in the first example given to a string s a b c and t a h b g d c and we have to check is this string is a subsequence of this string t so a yes then b yes and then c so the ordering is maintained so it's a subsequence of uh, subsequence of t and now uh, let's see the next example so in this example a then this character x x is not there in uh, string t so definitely it's not a subsequence of uh, this string uh, t so and here are few constants the so constant r so the length of s is 0 to 100 the length of t is 0 to 10 to the power 4 and both strengths consists uh, only of lowercase characters so this is the problem statement and now let's see multiple approaches to solve this problem in this example we are going to solve this problem using two pointers so the idea here is to take two pointer one pointer points to this string and another pointer points to this string an initial value for both the pointer is zero so the one pointer s index points to this string and the other pointer t index points to this uh, this string and then we compare the character present at both the indexes and if it is equal then we increment the value of both the pointers else we increment the value of pointer which points to this string and if all the character of this string is present in a string t it means the value of this pointer s index is equal to the length of this string so let's visualize this approach so one pointer s index and another pointer t index so in short form s index i i am writing as si and its initial value is zero and for t index i am writing as ti and its initial value is zero now let's compare the character present in both the indexes so a is equal to a so we have to increment the value for both the indexes so now it is one and the pointer move at this index then again we compare b with b so the new value is two and two and both the pointers move then we compare e with c so it is not equal so the value of this pointer remain as it is and we increment the value of this pointer so the new value of t index is three then it will move at this point and we compare e with d so it is not equal so we move this pointer and it points at this index now when we compare the character and the character is e is equal to e yes so now we increment the value of both the pointer 5 and it is 3 then we came out of this loop so the condition for this loop is while the value of this pointer is less than the length of this string and the value of this pointer is less than the length of this string so when we uh, came out of this loop we check uh, the value of this pointer is equal to the length of this string 
if it is it means all the characters of this string is present in correct order in a string t so we return true so this is the one way to solve this problem let's discuss this condition first then we will discuss its time and space complexity and this condition is if character present in both the pointers both the indexes are equal then increment the value of this pointer else in every iteration increment the value of this pointer which i have already explained and now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n so now n is the length of this string and m is the length of this string so its time complexity is o n because if we run this while loop until the length of uh, i mean the value of this pointer is less than the length of this uh, this string uh, this string length and the length uh, the value of this pointer is less than the length of this string and definitely uh, the length of the string s is always lesser than the uh, value of less than or equal to the length of this string so that's why the time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o 1 we are using constant space now uh, let's uh, see how we can solve this problem recursively let's see how we can solve this problem using recursion and uh, for recursive call uh, we need uh, these four argument string s string t and the pointers which points to a string s and a string t so initial value for both the pointers are zero so when we call this method from from this method call we pass a string s and a string t and the initial value for both the pointer which is zero and in recursive call the base condition is important if we don't define the base condition then it will goes into infinite loop and it will throw a stack overflow exception so the base condition are if the value of this pointer is equal to the length of string s it means all the characters of this string is present in string t in correct order else if the character is not found then in every iteration we increment the value of this pointer so if character is not found we keep incrementing it until it reach at the end so if the value of this pointer is equal to the length of a string t it means we have to return false the character of a string s is not present in a string t and uh, this is uh, so else what we have to do is if the character at both the indexes are equal then we call this method subsequence helper with a string s and t and we increment both the pointer else we increment only this pointer so let's let's visualize uh, how this approach is working so when we call this method and so initial value of both the pointers are zero so these uh, these two conditions are not true so we reach at this point and let me draw a call stack so that uh, we visualize what happens in every call so we first compare this character with this character so this is the condition and here i am using ternary operator so both the characters are equal so it means we have to call this method so when we call this method we pass a string s t and we have to increment both the pointers so the new value is 1 1 so in next call we are passing string s t and pointer value is 1 and 1 so again this condition is not true so uh, the condition is so the length of this string is 3 and the pointer value is 1 the length of this string is 5 and the pointer value is 1 again we reach at this statement and we compare the value present at this index 1 and 1 uh, so the character present at this index so both the characters are b and b so it is equal again we call this method and the pointer values are 2 2 so we have to increment both the pointers and 
in this call again uh, these two statements are not true these two conditions are not true and we compare the character present at uh, index 2 so the character is e and the character is c so it is not equal so this time we have to call uh, this this statement and in this statement we don't have to increment the value of this pointer we have to increment the value of this pointer so it is s t and then it is 2 and then it is 3 so we are calling these uh, we are calling this method recursively it means so each call is put in a call stack and it is in pause state so it is waiting to uh, waiting to get the return value from this method call this method call is waiting to get uh, the return value from this method call and when we reach uh, when we reach at base condition the base condition returns the value and then we subsequently return the value from from the uh, last call stack so let's see it so now we have incremented the value so the this pointer value remain as it is and this pointer will move at this point so we again we compare uh, the character so we reach at this statement and again we compare the character present at this this index with this index value and it is not equal so again we call uh, s t and the new value which is 2 and 4 so now this time we are comparing the character present at this the, uh, this this index with this index and the characters are equal so it is equal it means we uh, we call this method with the new value and the new value are so it is so let me put here it is s t and it is 3 and 5 so now see this uh, condition so the length of this string is equal to the index value yes so we return true so we get true here so we return at this uh, method call this method call return at this method call this will return at this method call and each call stack gets popped out from the stack and this method call returns to this method call and it will return true so we return true in this case so string s is a subsequence of a string t so this this is how this recursive method will work and now let's talk about its time and space complexity so again the time complexity is o n and in this case the space complexity is not o1 it is o n so in recursive call we have to maintain the overhead of each each call stack so that's why uh, the space complexity is also on so in this tutorial i have discussed two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comment so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video